another connect. Unfortunately, the gaming showcase is done though, at least for this year. <laughs> it's so confusing because there is so many like uh, releases happening uh, relatively soon. I feel like they're gonna happen after the Quest 3 will release. Well, I mean, wait, because we already have leaks, per usual, I mean, what's new? I'm mostly looking forward to arguments and uh, AR glasses. I don't think VR is gonna be that huge now. Maybe because we already know what's gonna happen. So there's no elemental surprise, really. So 3S is already in the displays in the States. I mean, we had the images and scans already leaked months before. It's using the same touch, pro touch plus controllers. There are two models now of 3S, will be. <laughs> it's crazy to review something that is not out yet. 128 and 256. It seems like they cut 128 from the flagship, from the main one. It will sell well, you know why? Because the price is already leaked as well. <laughs> so for the base model, 3S is 329 in Europe, which means in the States it's 300 or even lower, but I think it's gonna be 300, which was the launch price of Quest 2. Everything better all across the board. If you're jumping from Quest 2 to Quest 3 S, you're getting like a new hardware for the same price. That's kind of like not common nowadays, because if it's Sony, Apple or any really enterprise, normally newer models have higher prices, but now we are stagnant in the price point which is nice. Quest 3 overall as well lowers the price, but I'm not totally sure. So it's just a push to bring more headsets to people's homes. The only thing really changing is lenses and image quality, kind of. I remember when I switched to Quest Pro, rest in peace, <laughs> it was definitely noticeable. Like changing from Fresnel to Pancake, there's absolutely no going back and this is gonna be some kind of similar simulation. Let me pull up the Quest Pro specs. Maybe they're actually the same as Quest 3. <laughs> it's essentially why I'm not that excited for this event VR-wise because for me nothing really changes in that regard. I'll still use Quest 3. 3S, maybe it's gonna be for traveling or for people who demo. I don't think it's gonna be like Central Island Gaming anymore. We do know what's gonna be releasing. Oh, as well, it leaked that Batman will be released alongside uh, 3S, so... But yeah, I'm very much looking forward to playing something worthwhile and store-wise, because recently it's been just demo tech and just prototypes in the... I mean, in the... it's fine, but because of this Apple App purge, Everything is just going on the store. So it's Batman, Metro, Behemoth, Alien. Four big things for the rest of the year. This is the new MetaQuest 3S. <laughs> they present this right away. They know we know so. <laughs> High quality mixed reality Sensac? for two ninety nine. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, hell yeah. No brainer coming from Quest 2. Quest 3S has the same defining features as Quest 3. High resolution, color, mixed reality, powered by the same processor, vivid pass-through, hand tracking, feels natural, touch plus controllers for precision. You get the full range of experiences from Horizon I mean, it's good OS, to have a gaming, choice, I social, suppose, you know. fitness, watching videos, productivity, and more. A lot of people will be fine, you know, we optimize completely the whole fine system with 3S. A lot. Uh, we, we swapped out the pancake lenses for Fresnels, and with all of that, we were able to drop the price by two hundred dollars. I mean, that's why. Now, I in the past year, but the we've 2000 made so many improvements and optimizations to the technical that's stack, to the, the ultimate resolution, to the latency, to of my wallet. a lot more. That all of the things that I just mentioned, mixed reality, hand tracking software, is actually better in Quest 3S at two ninety nine oh, today good luck, than it was in Quest 3 when we launched it a year ago. So whether you're looking to get started with the base Quest 3S yeah. or if you want the top of the line Quest 3 with 512 gigabytes and 4K displays, which is now just 499, the Quest 3 okay, so family this is, a is not just the best price value, job, right? it is the best product available. 
you can now run everything from 2D mobile apps to remote desktop for PC uh, to fully immersive experiences all on one device. You can open screens, you can put them anywhere around you, you can have pretty much as many of them running as you want. Um, you, know, you can put one on a wall if you want. I'm not sure if there's a wall that's in a close enough range that you can show. It happens. <laughs> now you're also gonna be able to easily move between um, these experiences by stepping through these portals. And we're introducing this, it's a new kind of primitive uh, that we think is going to become kind of like the equivalent of a hyperlink in the metaverse. Um, so we think that that's gonna be a neat way to just jump around and developers are gonna be add them and, and creators are gonna be able to add them to all these different spaces. Um, and as you can see, we've also taken a step forward with the avatars. Um, they're much better. Oh yeah. More on that in a second. Um, and you'll also be able to show up in more places with your avatars, including even, like, um, this YouTube co-watching, which is rolling out they in feel beta more realistic, next week, thanks to our friends realistic. at Google. We're also bringing photorealistic spaces to the metaverse. And we call this hyperscape. Uh -huh. And the way this works is you can use your phone to scan a room and then recreate it, or you can step into a room that someone else has scanned and shared. Um, so this one is Daniel Arsham's um, studio space. Uh, let's, let's look at another one. We've got, I think this is, um, this one is the studio, I think, where Green Day recorded Dookie. And we can deliver this experience on standalone headsets, Quest 3 and Quest 3S. Um, in fact, I encourage you to go download the Horizon Hyperscape beta app in the US and try it out yourself today. It's pretty wild, um, and we're planning on just adding more and more over time. I think it's, it's really neat. Yeah, but it's also right. in the US. Now, of course, there's like, gaming. Um, I hate when they do that. So, we got some really good ones coming, showing off what the Quest 3 family can do. Uh, Batman Arkham Shadow up here, um, exclusively on the Quest 3 family. It's going to be included in any purchase of a Quest 3 or 3S uh, that you buy this fall. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I think this one's going to be really good. Uh, we've we've oh, yeah. also got other titles coming, um, Triangle Strategy from Square Enix, and <gasps> oh. Just Dance, Welcome to Dance City. First Square Enix title. It's going to be awesome. Finally. All right, for the fitness crew, we also just rolled out group workouts with Supernatural together. So you're gonna to wanna to check this out. Yes, true, right, so not for me. Lots of great experiences, a lot more coming soon. Being care about you that is the Quest 3 family lineup, the best mixed reality experience, now with Quest 3S, starting at $299. Pre-order's open today and it's shipping on October 15th. So Batman is the cool, okay. That's interesting, this can as well. I do like how the Batman looks and it's kinda it's a flagship title just like Asgard Wrath was with Quest 3. You know, with VR it's just that they're just throwing stuff, here we go, have fun. And then they're focusing more with those conferences on the future. It seems like every single year it's getting shorter and shorter with VR news. I'm surprised there's no mention of augments. Last year they really teased that and they said that it's gonna release soon, you know, some kind of widget system that we have for example on phones but you put them in your space either vr mr i don't think that mattered like clocks portals to games so i don't know if they scrapped it or working on that software is longer than expected all right so first we're making Was it more interesting natural with and conversational. identifying so now, instead of having to say, Objects. look and tell me when you want to use the camera or use multimodal AI, um, you're just going to be able to say, you know, hey, Meta, uh, what kind of smoothie can I make with these? And instead of having to keep saying, hey, Meta, every time you want to talk to it, um, you're just going to be able to keep the conversation going. So small improvements, making it a lot better and easier to use. All right, next, we are adding the ability for the glasses to help you remember things. Uh -huh. So like a personal assistant. So Meta AI is now going to be able to give you real-time help as you are doing things, uh, like trying to figure out uh, what outfit you want to wear for a party that you're going to. And you can kind of get a sense of how useful it's Whoa. going to be 
to have glasses and AI That's that trippy. can understand what's going on around you and can give you suggestions and feedback as you go. Oh, creepy. <laughs> so Met AI on your glasses is going to be able to translate for you in real time. So if you're talking to someone who speaks Spanish or French or Italian, you're going to be able to hear it in your ear in English. Hey, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo está tu rodilla? ¿Has vuelto a entrenar? Hey, how are you? How oh. is your knee back training? Doing well. Knee is, is doing well. It feels strong. I'm ramping up training. Um, how are you doing? Are you getting ready for your next fight? Haciendo bien. La rodilla está. Está haciendo bien y sentirse fuerte. Estoy aumentando el entrenamiento. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Te estás preparando para tu próxima pelea? I am looking forward to your fight. Realmente, it's going to be awesome. No necesito a nadie uh, para November, traducir para que this. entienda Good eso. Good luck. Have oh, fun out there, man. Estoy <laughs> deseando tu pelea. Va a ser increíble. Um, noviembre. Tú puedes. Buena suerte. Diviértete ahí fuera, hombre. I mean... Okay. Viva México, señores. Let's go. It's cool. Maybe for the future purchase. The demo gods are looking somewhat favorably upon us. Right. <laughs> but it doesn't seem like they are partying um, with them airways. We've also been working on full holographic AR glasses. Oh, for, there you go. For almost 10 years. Almost 10 years. And that is still the full vision that we're working towards. Mm -hmm. And I have something that I want to show you today. Oh. <laughs> this is Orion. Oh. Our first fully functioning prototype, and if I do say so, the most advanced glasses the world has ever seen. Okay. Now, about a decade ago, I, uh, Are they thick? <laughs> I started putting together a team of the best people in the world. I mean, to, uh, to build the smallest we've seen, but. And the, the requirements are actually pretty simple. But the technical challenges to make them are insane. What is this light? Um, you know, they, they need to be glasses, you know, not a headset, no wires, less than 100 grams. Mm -hmm. uh, they need wide field of view, holographic displays. Uh-huh. Sharp enough to pick up details. Okay, not the meme. <laughs> bright enough to see in different lighting conditions. Large enough to display a cinema screen or multiple monitors for working wherever you go, whether you're, you're in a coffee shop or on a plane or wherever you are. And you need to be able to see through them. And people need to be able to see that through them too and make eye contact with you. Right? This isn't pass through. This is the physical world mm -hmm. with holograms overlaid on it. Or if you want to be with someone who is far away, um, they're going to be able to teleport as a hologram into your living room as if they're right there with you. You're going to be able to tap your fingers and bring up a game of cards or chess or holographic ping pong or whatever it is that you want to do together. You can work or play or whatever. So one week after the free S launch. Building this display That's fine. is different Thanks, from Sarah. every other screen that you have ever used. You're going to do voice and AI. They're going to do hand tracking and eye tracking so you can select UI elements by looking at them. This is also the first device that is powered by our wrist-based neural interface. When people have gotten to try out these glasses, we've shown them to a, a handful of people at this point, it's like, it's like an emotional experience. I mean, like people are kind of giddy, they don't want to take them off. A lot of people have said that this is the craziest technology they've ever seen. It is. Um, I'm playing with a 3D avatar. I see you're very focused now. Yeah, very focused. You really do kind of feel like like a superhero, like a new new sense, new dimension. Wow, wow. this this can be just a whole new world. I mean, cringe aside, this is revolutionary. So we do still have a few things that I want us to keep pushing on before we ship this as a consumer product. Uh, mm. We're going to keep tuning the display system to make it sharper. I want to keep working on the design to make it smaller and a bit more fashionable. Um, and we're going to keep making, we need to keep working on the, the uh, manufacturing to make it a lot more affordable too. Thank you for being on this journey with us. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the day at Connect. Thank you.
phones are not going to be the end of the line, but we're not going to be here in the 2030s communicating and using computing devices that are exactly the same as what we have today. I mean, there is nothing to be impressed in terms of the VR category because we know stuff. <laughs> it is kind of like comparable situation to Quest 2 in terms of the tech itself because we have now a consumer version of Quest 3, which I really thought the Quest 3 is consumer, but maybe, you know, that's my delusion as living in like a golden reality. It's essentially the same price as Quest 2 launched with better specs and better everything all across the board. Meta avatars are again changing their like appearance or customizable, customizable so they're gonna be like more detailed and you'll have more choices to choose in terms of clothing and face appearance so just more broad and range than what we have now so we got like some tidbits but from the official stuff you know batman we knew now apparently we have the release date which is gonna be scheduled on the 22 but in terms of the new headset like it's not uh, interesting to me i will have my impressions and stuff but it's just gonna be i feel like sitting on a shelf Honestly, for me, the most exciting is the Orion this. He should have, I feel like, released it now. Of course, what he presented is very low quality in terms of the resolution and maybe capabilities, but it's already a confirmation that Meta is gonna probably go on and go full in into that. But I don't see this merge happening now with quests and AR like Orion, so... This is definitely very much into the future. Still, they look kind of funny, but at least you don't have like a brick on your face. So for us, for the rest of the year, it's just games. We have four exclusive to look forward to. Headset, it's really, it really depends if you're like in need of that. If you did not switch to Quest 3 yet, like this is the time to get that headset and then just, you know, continue your XR journeys. Thank you for checking out and uh, I'll try to do more live streams maybe in the future. That's uh, another plans that I want to do. Probably with VR content and then maybe like with y'all to play something like I'd love to do that. But for now I need to uh, realize what I started here and it's still quite a bit work to do so. I'll see you around as always. <laughs>